urge to get naked with your partner, rub each other in margarine, and then wrestle? It's <laughs> margarine. You say margarine. Okay. Have you ever had the urge to wrestle in margarine? Yeah, us neither. But if you do want to get messy like that, you might first want to invest in a vinyl sheet, which you can find in the incontinence section of your local drugstore. Mm, that's even sexier than doing it in margarine. <laughs> you could just jump in the tub without any water, get messy until you're ready to come clean. Get it? Come clean. Let's see how many of you like to get messy. I eat while I have sex. Like cocktails, pizza. I never try that together. Usually it's a dinner and then the sex separately. <laughs> so I have to explore that area. I don't like to mix and match. Food and sex. Never. Never have. Just sweat and spit, that's about it. Mmm, thanks. I just lost my appetite. I'm more of drinks and sex <laughs> together in any form, combination. I've only done it like a couple times. I'm pretty much up for anything. One girl had this one thing, when you put it on it like heated up and tasted like strawberries or something. It was cool though. I mean, I didn't mind. It worked. That was probably one of those warming flavored lubes. Unfortunately, they usually taste like crap. If you're gonna use one though, and you're gonna use it on your downtown area, just make sure it's glycerin free to help avoid infection. As long as it stays above the belly button, I'm okay. <laughs> Cause I'm a little leery about that. Amen sister. Unless you've got a vagina of steel, you wanna keep any foodstuffs away from your hoo-ha. Yep, especially the really sugary stuff, which can cause a serious yeast infection. Chocolate syrup, always good, and marshmallows. Yo, you got it? Yeah, weird, but his marshmallows is good. Definitely keep that stuff north of the belly button. All I have to say is whipped cream. I don't know, it helped out. That's all I can say, so it helped out. We're assuming he means that his partner didn't like the flavor of penis. In which case, I would definitely help out. No, I don't like stickiness of food. Like that just makes your skin break out. No, whipped creams are not good. Maybe food before, maybe some wine and champagne or something. That's always nice. Or afterwards. Oh. It's like a post, a post snack. You burn off some calories. You need to um, eat something afterwards to gain your energy back. You can eat hot dogs if they're not warm. They're cooked in the package and you, you just heat them up in the microwave. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, that's not exactly the sexiest post-coital snack that we can think of, with or without the ketchup and bun. So guys, don't expect that to work on everyone. In fact, don't expect it to work on anyone. Me, I gotta go with strawberries and sugar and peaches on the side. I've never done it, but I mean, I'm open to anything, so. It's good, <laughs> if you use it the right way. Can't get it get boring. If it gets boring, it get monotonous. <laughs>